Okay, welcome again to my channel. We will have another lecture about computer programming one, and this topic will be about Java arrays. So in this lesson, we'll be declaring and creating uh, arrays and um, what is the syntax and how to do it. Uh, we'll be learning how to access array elements and determine the number of elements in an array. And also, um, if uh, time permits, we can um, declare and create multi-dimensional arrays, okay? So, suppose now you, you think on yourself that you are required um, to declare, let's say, five, uh, 100 variables of type int, okay? With different identifiers for each variable. So, if you don't know about Java arrays, this will be a tedious task, no? Thinking that you will be um, declaring and instantiating um, values to that variable of 100 integer type variables. So it will be, let's say, the ident identifier will be number 1, number 2, number 3, up to number 100. So if you can imagine, this is a tedious task in order to, you know, initialize and use these variables. And they have the same purpose of these variables. So in Java and other programming languages, there is a capability wherein we can just use one variable to store a list of data and you can manipulate them more efficiently just using one identifier. So we call this as um, variable as array. So an array stores multiple data items of the same data type. So dapat po siya the same po yung data type if you will be using Java arrays. And it is stored in a contiguous block of memory divided into a number of slots. So as you notice here, now we do have <coughs> example a Java array number and um, the, the array do have a contig the, the data inside the array, we basically call them as elements. They are stored on a contiguous block of memory. So they are divided into a number of slots. Okay. So each slot, okay, they are um, they are addressed to what we call as index. Okay. So it's 0, 1, 2, they are called index. So I'll just I'll just put it there later. Okay. And then, um, this is how you declare array. So, to declare an array, you write the data type, you know, followed by a set of square brackets, and then followed by the identifier. So, for example, we do have in, and then you either precede it with a square brackets, and then after that is the identifier name or the variable of the array, or in the data type, and then um, the name of the identifier okay the name of the identifier and then the square brackets so when you instantiate an array when we say instantiate you put values in the array okay so this means you are trying to create the array okay and then you we initialize after that okay so it's when we declare it, the, the array is still null, it doesn't have any values, and it is not usable. So, in order to instantiate an array, we basically need a constructor of this. So, a constructor is a method wherein um, it is called to create a certain object. So, we will cover about um, how to instantiate objects and constructors uh, on the next um, topics. So to instantiate or create an array, we basically use what we call as the new keyword. So the new keyword will be the one to, you know, to create or to instantiate an object, which is basically in this case, the array. So for example, here, um, in ages and then square brackets, we are basically declaring in this part and then instantiate object and then ages equals to new. And then you write again the um, the, what do you call this, the, the data type, and then you write the size, 
of the array. So this can also be written as in and then ages and then square brackets equals to new and then the data type in again and then the size of the array. Okay, so let's have another example on declaring and instantiating. So declaring and instantiating. So let's say we want to declare um, a list of names. Let's say string, so string name, okay, and then square brackets equals to new string and then the size of the array. So let's say 50. Okay. So let's say ages. So in uh, ages yun kanina, no? Let's say int numbers. So numbers and then square brackets equals to new in and then let's say 200 numbers. Okay? Right? So that's how you declare an instant shape on the array. So once instant shaping, you know, the, let's say the previous one, which is the ages, it will create a contiguous block of memory. So, yung mga nasa, nasa inside ng block are what we call as elements. Okay? And then, itong <coughs> each blocks, they are, um, they are the address of the each blocks. We call them as indices. So, I believe meron tayong discussion on the next slides about elements and indices. Okay? So, the length of an array is 100. Okay? But the index always starts with 0. So, if there is a 100 length, so, um, if there is a 100 length, so you will write, okay, if there is a 100 length, so, that means the index is from 0 to 99. Okay? If the size or the length is 99, so that means the index set, indices is from 0 to 98. Okay, so when we say we want to instantiate an array, you are putting values of, an, of the array. Okay? You can actually initialize with data on it. So let's say we do have an array called ARR in ARR and then square brackets. To in order to put uh, values on initial values on it, you put the values on a comma separate uh, comma separated value. So um, curly brace and then the element one or element index um, the first element and then comma and then the second element comma and the third element etc. And then you close it with a um, the close uh, break, um, curly brace and then semicolon. So this statement declares and instantiates an array of integers with five elements. So automatically, po, once you initialize um, it with five elements, automatically the length is five. And you, you cannot change it. So these are just some code programs. You can basically um, do it on your own. So Boolean, uh, we have a Boolean um, results here, which is a Boolean um, type array. And then we do have a double type array grades. And then string type array, which is days. So as I mentioned earlier, when you where every contiguous every block of memory or every block of contiguous block of memory dun sa array natin um, we do have um, it is uh, identified by what we call as index or the subscript so the index is the address of the of the array so as it is assigned to each member of the array or the elements to allow the programs to access an individual member of the array. So, don't forget that it always begins with zero. That means the first element um, is zero and it progresses sequentially by whole numbers. So, as I mentioned earl also earlier, if the size of the array is 100, that means um, the indexes of your array is from zero to 100 minus one or zero to 99. For example, given the array we declared a while ago, which is the ages, we have 
ages um, 0 assigns 10 to the first element. So that means this value 10, you know, um, is assigned to ages 0. Okay? And then, if you want to access also the last element, you, so you write ages 99. So, once an array is declared and constructed, the stored value of each member of the array will be initialized to zero. For number data, for reference data types such as strings, they are not initialized to blanks or an empty string. So, therefore, you must populate the string arrays explicitly. So, pag integer siya, automatic po zero yung default. Ng, ano, ng, ng element ng array. Okay? So, let's have an example for accessing, accessing an array. Okay? So, when you want to put, um, yeah, when you want to store elements to an array, so let's say we do, we use this, no, yung, itong numbers. Okay? So, when you are accessing, let's say, numbers 0, and then you put, let's say, 98 on that, that means, um, yung nasa loob ng, I'll use Excel now to, to further, ano, to further, Okay, so imagine lang po, no, itong nasa column A is the, the elements, okay? So, I'll put my number right. And then yung nasa column B are the indices. Okay. So these are elements and then these are the index. Okay, so, so, ito yun ha, so this is just a representation of how um, the continuous block of memory inside the array works. So, when we want to assign values, let's say 98, no, i-assign natin sa numbers 0. Okay, so, you are basically, um, you know, you are basically assigning or storing the number 98, to the con index 0 as, an, as the element in index 0. So, that means U98 will be stored here. Okay? So, imagine this is the array po, ha? And then this is the indices. Ayan. Alright. So, another is, let's say, numbers um, A. Ang store natin dyan, let's say, um, 78 or 77, okay? So, that means yung element 77 will be stored as an element in index 8, okay? So, nandito siya, index 8. So, 77 will be stored here. So, let's say another one. Numbers uh, 2 or 3, okay? will store 500 there, okay? So, the value 500 will be stored as an element in index 3. Okay, so where is index 3? Ito. So the index 3 will have an element of 500. So that's how you, you basically uh, access an array in terms of, you know, in terms of, in terms of um, storing um, element to an index. Alright, so let's populate the array. So, you know, imagine you know, we already populated the array here. So, these are the values of the array, okay, the elements of the array, and then the indices. So, we want to print or access the, so the element in the array. So, let's say we want to print So, you want to access or print the, um, the element in index 5. Okay, so you just write numbers, the name of the array, and then you enclose in the square brackets the index. Okay, so ang output nito is, ano nasa 
index 5. So, the element in index 5 is 16. So, ang output niya is basically 16. So, like another example. So, let's say we want to print the element in index 9. Okay? So, ang output, ang element sa index 9 is 250. Okay? So, it will output to 50. So, let's have an example. Kung we will access the element in index 10. So, what do you think will happen? So, what will happen? It will basically issue what an runtime error or an exception. Okay? Why? Okay, because our elements is only 10 and that means the in the allowed index is from 0 to 9 now if you are accessing numbers index 10 so there is no existing na index 10 so what will happen it will issue an index out of bounds exception okay so para siyang, para siyang error okay so, index out of bounds exception. It is a runtime error. So, it is issuing an index out of bounds exception to the fact na wala pong e numbers index 10. And then, our, sa, our array is only capable of storing 10 elements. Okay? So, that means index 0 to index 9. Okay? So, take note on that. So, um, this code will just basically print uh, the elements in the array. So, let's just skip this. But you can um, uh, pause this and then you can, you can try it on your own. Okay? And then because we'll have a different exercise later. Okay? So, it is usually better to initialize or instantiate the array right away after you declare it. So, so Pwede, li, pwede ganito. So, in ARR, and then equals to new in, and then derecho dayon instantiate. So, the elements of an n element array have indexes from 0 to n minus 1. So, note that there is no array element ARR n. So, as I mentioned earlier, so, if the element, if the size of the element is 10, so, there is no existing array element of ARR10 because ARR10 is non-existent um, that means it's the 11th um, element and it will issue an array index out of bounds exception okay and you always remember Java arrays cannot be resized One, it is, once it is all already instantiated it cannot be resized okay so, in order to get the numbers of elements in an array, you, you can use the length field of an array. So, the length field of an array returns the size of the array. So, it can be used by writing array name that, that length. Okay. Now, in our example, let's say, itong si numbers natin. Okay. Numbers natin is 200, no? Okay. So, so assume natin na... Uh, um, 10 itong ano, 10 pala ito. Sorry ha. Yung kanina, dapat ano siya, index out of bounds. Okay, so, numbers 10. Okay. So, yung mention ko kanina about the array index out of bounds exception. Um, so, that means po, um, dapat po yung int natin na size is 10. Okay, so just a reminder. So, pag 10 dito nakalagay, and then print ln natin is numbers 10. So, that means you are accessing the 11th element. So, wala pong 11th element. So, it's a non-existing index. So, the, it, it will issue an array index of out of bounds exception. So, if the numbers is 10 po yung size, so you can access the, the size. Let's say you want to access the size here size of the array so you can just um, call it numbers that length 
Okay. Numbers that length. So, so you it will return an integer type variable. So it will return size of the array is 10. Okay, now if you, so again, um, as mentioned in the guidelines that um, you cannot um, resize an array. So once 10 na po yan siya, as you go on with the, your program, as you code with your program, you can, and you cannot change it. Okay, so once instantiated na po yung size na 10, it will always be 10. Okay, so... Um, so, this is an example of the array length. So, we'll have a different example later. So, although you can try it on your own. So, please try it uh, on your own in your, um, in your NetBeans or on, on your any Java um, IDE. So, when creating for loops to process the elements of an array, use the array object's length. So, as you notice dito sa example, ginamit natin yung dot length natin para ma-manipulate natin and ma-visit ma natin lahat ng elements sa array. Okay? So, we will be using later on our coding the dot length. And then, declare sizes of an array in the Java program using name constants. Okay? So, this is how you declare a name constant. You write final and then int and then array size. Although, it is not really necessary to do that. And then, what you will write here is the name of the constant variable, array size. Just to make sure na it will not be changed. Okay? So, later na po yung multidimensional array. So, I'll just introduce na lang po yung multidimensional arrays. These, these are implemented as array of arrays. Okay? Multidimensional arrays are declared by appending appropriate number of brackets pairs after the array name. So, siguro we can, we can just um, have a different video about this. Okay? So, um, let's have a practice exercise na muna. So, practice problem. One. Create a program. Okay, so create a program that will instantiate 10 elements of an array by user input and display the elements of an array. Okay, I are. So let's open that means. Hindi ko pala na open yung that means. Yeah, so that is our um, problem. So we will be creating. Kaya na bahala po ng, ano, ng name sa project. So, since we will be needing to input, so we will be importing um, java.util.scanner. Okay. So, we will be trying to instantiate first the scanner. And then, we'll be instantiating our array. So, kasi numbers lang po ni numbers. Um, I'll just change it. In type. So, in type ng array. So, numbers po. So, in num so, you put square brackets, then new, and then int, and then 10. Okay. So, according to the, ano, according to the 
going to call this always <laughs> after the uh, according to the problem we'll be in instantiating 10 elements of an array so nag instantiate na po tayo so we have num as our array name and then we will be entering as user input yung elements 10 elements of an array and then we'll display the elements so <clears throat> So we will be using for okay. So in i as our third loop variable, in i is equal to so in i is equal to zero, which is the first index, and then um, i is lesser than uh, num dot length. So we'll be using num dot length for the um, in order to to manipulate the loop variable na until ano po siya, until length minus one, okay? And then according to the problem, we'll be asking the user to input, okay? So we will be asking first enter enter element. So let's just put i. I plus one, so that means uh, enter element one, and then semicolon, and then we will be um, storing the the element into the the array. So num i, okay. So that means it will be stored in num index zero, and then um, sc dot next. Thing. Okay, so that will be our um, output, our code to input elements. So in i is equal to zero, i is lesser than num that length, and then this is our code enter element then i plus one. Okay, I put plus one because um, it will it will display enter element zero. So parang Napaka, ano, napaka awkward na enter element 0. So let's just put enter element 1. Although it will be stored in index 0. Okay? Yeah. So let's try to run what will happen on this. So please remember no, that our length is one, uh, 10. Okay, so that means until 0 to 9, new increment and iteration of the looping. So, ayan, enter element 1, let's say 9, 9, and then let's say 100, 56, 40, 12, 34, 55, uh, 10, and then um, let's say 88, and then 1. Yeah, so successful yung walang error. Okay. Now, if we will put equal sign lesser than equal, that means it will still access yung um, num 10. Uh, num, yeah, num 10. So, if we will do that, it will issue an index array of out of bounds. So, I will just show you ano yung parang what will happen. Okay, so let's say 9, 8, 8, 1, 45, 56, 77, 8, 98, um, 40, and then 88, 11. Ayan. So, yung sa element 11 or index 10, it will issue an array index out of bounds exception because of the accessing index 10 or inputting element 11 to index 10 which is a non-existing block of array dun sa ating array na num. Okay? So, make sure na lesser talaga ito. Lesser than the length of the array. So, not lesser than or equal to. So, let's continue. So, this is our put, ano ha? This is for <coughs> populating the array. 
that means you put elements there. And then we'll write the code for we'll write the code for ano for the printing. Okay, so we'll, I want to put first parang elements kanari ganon lang. Please print para sunod sunod siya po. And then, I'll just copy this. So you can actually use the same loop variable i0. Kasi it will, the, the usage of the loop variable i here on our populating the array will end here. Okay? Mag-end siya po. It will end there. Ayan. Ayan. So, Okay. So, Ayan. So what we're going to do here is we will just print okay, the elements of the array. Um, diba earlier, when you want to access the elements of the array, you can um, always put... Uh, you can always access it using the index. So num, we'll just use i. Okay? And then we'll put space or a comma. So I so I put I so because this is a for loop so um you can uh, watch the video about looping or for loop to understand how for loop works. Because I will always iterate uh, increment from uh, zero and then one and then two and then three until the end of the condition. So that means until nine at our case. Okay, so you can uh, I'll let you analyze how it works. Um, because we already have covered this in the, this in the previous video. Okay. So this is our code for printing the elements of an array. So my counting problem dito, just I'll just show it la uh, later. Ano yung problem? Okay. Um, let's just. Um, So let's say 89, 87, 4, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Yeah. So, yeah, the print yung elements ng array. So, from index 0 to index 9. So, element 1 to 10. So, ang counting problem lang dito. Uh, correct naman yung arrangement to. Ang counting problem dito is this one. Okay. So, yan yung problem niya. Ayan. Um, yan yung problem po. Ah, uh, yung kama. So, paano natin matatanggal yung kama sa dulo? Yeah, well, that's the problem. So, let's try to explore. Uh, explore. Ayan. So, let's try to explore na if, mag-if tayo dito. If I is not equal to num.length minus 1. So, that means that the last element it will print my comma. So that means that 0 to 8, itong 0 to 8 elements, my comma, of course. So pag, else na tayo, else, that means kung nakanam that length na siya, it will print no comma. I think this is correct naman. 
So let's try. So 50, 75, 66, 40, 10, 4, 1, 99, 12, 33, then 5. 50, 75, 66, 40, 10, 4, 1, 9, 9, 33, 5. Ayan, wala na po siyang kama. Okay? So, just just disregard lang yung nakakolor green na build successful. This is just parang ano sa net beans na notifying that it, the program has successfully um, executed. Okay? So, that is our... Um, so that is our code. Ito po yung code. You can pause po if you want to. Okay. So, let's try to modify our problem. So, it must compute the sum of all elements of the array. Okay? So, for that problem, it will be shown to you on the next video on your or you can do it on your own. Okay? So, thank you for listening in our uh, Java Arrays um, discussion. I hope you learned something and um, I will still post um, uh, examples, example lang, isa lang, ng, uh, another example for um, Java Arrays, which is this one, yung parang computing the sum of all elements.